how what's up guys so today we're going to continue our inventory system and i'm going to teach you how to cycle between the items and how to apply the overlay state animations when we have an active item okay so let's begin first things we need is go to our inventory folder blueprints and open our inventory component over here we're going to create two functions to get the next item after our active item and the previous item before our active item so over here on functions we're going to create a new one and call it get next now uh, we're going to grab the slots which is uh, the items that we want to cycle through right so here we're going to say for each connect this over here um, and from here we're going to say get item to call the utility function that we created before and get the item values so from here I'm going to say break I'm going to say hide and connected, expose the holdable settings. Here I'm going to say break again, uh, hide and connected, and expose only the actor blueprint. Okay. The reason we do this is because we want to filter the array uh, before we get the next item. So we're going to make sure that this blueprint is valid. Okay. And then we're going to check uh, which one is the next item. So here I'm going to say is valid soft class reference. We're going to say branch and uh, connect this over here. And if this is true, we're just going to create a local variable to store all the valid items. Okay. So from the slots, we can just do promote to local variable and call it aux and then just delete this one. Uh, this was just to create the variable. And now we can grab this new uh, variable, say get and adds the new item uh, that we just validated okay so we can connect this here to the true and the item will be uh, the array elements over here now uh, after this is completed what we're going to do is just get the next item so we're going to grab the aux array that we created we're going to say uh, find to get the index of our current active item so we're going to connect this over here and now from the array again, we're going to say last index. Um, and now from this one, we're going to say add and we're going to add one. OK. And again, from this one, we're going to say equal and we're going to connect this over here. OK, so essentially we're always going to find the next item. And if you reach the end of the array, we want to go back to the beginning. OK, so here we're going to say select. We're going to connect this over here and if this is false we can connect uh, the next item okay and if not we uh, return the first index of the array which is zero okay now from the aux array we're going to say get and get a copy now we're going to connect this to the index over here and this will return the name of our next item okay so over here we're going to say branch we're going to connect this one to the completed. We're going to uh, double click here to organize. And essentially this condition will be this one right here. And this branch will serve uh, so that we can uh, cycle to an empty hand and not only through the items. OK, so if you reach the end of the array, we'll go into an empty hand and then we'll go back to the beginning of the items. So here we can say return and copy this one and connect to the true and to the false now uh, here we can add uh, an output which will be called empty which will tell us uh, if we're trying to cycle to an empty hand or not which will be a boolean okay so this one we can check it and now the item that we found we're just going to return to this one over here okay and this one we can call it item id and that's basically it so this function will get the next af item after our active item. To create the previous function, uh, we can just duplicate this one. So duplicate and call it get prev. Okay. Now, instead of using a for each loop, what we can do is use a reverse for each and basically go in the reverse direction. Okay. Now we're going to change all these pins from this node to the other one. If we control click, we can move this over here control click control click and do this to all the uh, other pins okay until this one is completely disconnected now we can move this one 
and we can delete the old one. So that's basically it. Now we have two functions which will get the next item and the previous item. We can move this once to the utility category over here. And now we're going to create two other functions that will be the ones that will be called from the character. The reason I separated this is because uh, you might also want this, uh, want to use these functions on the UI, for example, when you want to see uh, which one is the next item or the previous item, you can always get the name of those items, okay? Uh, so over here on functions, we're going to create a new one called cycle up. And we're going to call the get next function. We're going to say branch from here. And uh, if we're trying to cycle to an empty hand, then over here, we're going to say clear hand and remove the weapon from the hand. If not, uh, then we want to equip it. So we can call the equip function and then we can just connect the ID to the ID over here. And that's basically it. Now we can do the same thing for the cycle up and duplicate it. And now we can call this cycle down and uh, we can get the prev function that we created and control click to uh, replace the pins, okay? Like this. And now we can delete this one and connect this one over here. So uh, now we have the functions to cycle to the items. So we can go uh, to our inventory um, uh, character over here, sorry. And um, here, what we're going to do is use the mouse wheel up and the mouse wheel down uh, to cycle through the weapons. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is use a retrievable delay of uh, 0 0.1 uh, in duration so that if I scroll down very quickly I don't go through all the weapons I always go to the next one okay so uh, we can copy this one over here and from here I can say cycle up and call the inventory function that we just created and then here we can say cycle down and call the function that we just created so that's basically it. We can compile and save. And if we hit play now, I can pick up all these items like this. And you will see if I scroll up, I'll go into this direction. And if I scroll down, I'll go into this direction. So up, down, up, down. As you can see, everything is working correctly. Now, uh, the only thing missing is the overlay states. So to do that, uh, we're going to go back to our inventory component. And we're going to create a new event uh, which will tell us uh, when this active item changes so that we can apply a new overlay state. So here on the event dispatchers, we can create a new one called on equip. And uh, the variable changes on the equip function over here where we set the active item. So we can grab the on equip and call this function over here. And it also changes on the clear hand function where we set it to nothing. Okay, so we're also going to call the onequip function. And this will make sure that we can call this event uh, from this component. Now, if we go back to our character, we can go to the inventory components, uh, right click and search for the onequip event that we just created. Uh, we can grab this one and move it over here just to be uh, organized over here. And now what we're going to do is go to the inventory so we can get this and say get active item to get uh, the name of our active item. And now from the inventory again, I can say get item to call the function to get the item values and connect this to the ID. OK, so this way I uh, will be able to access the overlay state of my current item. So I can say break. I can say hide and connected, expose the holdable settings. Uh, now I can say break again and hide and connected and expose only the overlay state. Okay. So uh, now we're going to use the functions that we created before. So set overlay server, this one, connect over here. And now here we're going to say set overlay client. Okay. Uh, now we're going to connect the overlay to the pins over there. And that's basically it. So anytime our uh, current weapon changes, we're going to switch the overlay states. OK, so we can compile and save. And if we hit play now, I'm going to pick up this pistol. And if I aim, 
you will see that now uh, everything is working nice. As you can see, everything seems to be uh, working perfectly. So uh, we have all the animations working. As you can see, everything working nice. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, this is how you can uh, cycle through the weapons and how you can apply the overlay state animations to your character. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something with it. And don't forget to subscribe.